Hello, good morning, students. How are you? Hope you are all safe and sound at home. Myself, Gulshan Sharif, your English teacher, welcomes you to Mahila Samaja online digital classes. I am back with a new poem that is "Learn to Be Grateful," written by Edgar A. Guest. Edgar A. Guest. He is an English poet. born in america see learn to be grateful actor albert guest was a british born american poet who was popular in the first half of the 20th century and known as the people's poet his poems often had an inspirational and optimistic view of everyday life he was born on 20 of 20th august 1881 in birmingham united kingdom and he died on 5th of august 1959 detroit michigan united states his parents were julia wine guest and edwin guest nationality american so children we'll start the poem here please do listen in your textbook Be grateful for the kindly friends that walk along your way. Be grateful for the skies of blue that smile from day to day. So here, dear children, we should thankful for the God. Grateful means thankful to the God for whatever He has given us. So now let's get started with the poem here. Here the poet. tell us to be thankful for the friends we have who walk with us every day and for the blue skies which are upon our head blue skies means neeli aakasha which are upon our head andre aakasha nam tale mele irutte so ad yavaglu sada nam tale mele irutte so adukosra navu adakke devarige thanks maadbeku yakandre we cannot make our own sky then god has created the nature make a wall and smile to us every day if you see the sky you see the nature alwa so ratri hot nodre the stars you can see morning times you can see the beautiful clouds there so he is uh, the edgar edges is asking us to be grateful for the god for this beautiful nature be grateful for the kindly friends that walk along your way god has given us a gift as a friend so so friends are also a gift for us from the god we should thank for the god be grateful for the sky some blue that smile from day to day see the clouds see the birds how they are flying it will be very amazing to see no next stanza be grateful for the health you own that work you find to do for round about you there are men less fortunate than you so here in this second paragraph sorry second stanza next the poet tell us to be grateful for our health we have so what at present right now we are facing the corona uh, condition or corona situation in our whole world so we are should thankful for the god that we have given a health hey, good health for us you know so many people died because of this pandemic disease so we are here because of the god he has given a very good health for us we have to maintain as it is and we should be thank god that he has given us a very good health that we are all healthy and for the work we do we should be grateful for the work we do and because there are people around us who do not have any work so you know very well children because of this pandemic disease you know jana gelsak hogak bit bit idare you all school al bit bit manele you bit online classes nodta idira yake because of this diseases so adu andru obriginta obru spread agutte anta heli you manele idira correct alwa so adrinda eshtu jana gelsanu bit bit idare 
ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಏನಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಕೆಲ್ಸಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಿರೋರು ತುಂಬಾ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೆಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಕ್ಕಿ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ದನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ around but you are there are men less fortunate than you see in this picture one person is begging there another girl is a blind and one person is sitting on the wheelchair if you compare all these three from with you what has happened so you sense that you are the best be grateful for the growing trees the roses soon to bloom the tenderness of kindly hearts that share your days of bloom so now in this stanza the poet tells us to be thankful for the trees are growing and the roses are blooming these rose flowers i plant have a soft and gentle heart so you need the rose beautiful rose rose is famous for its beauty isn't it so if you see there it has a soft gentleness because they share the blooming season with us so if you see the rose you will feel somewhat happy when you see the flowers okay be grateful for the growing trees the roses soon to bloom you if you see the flowers flowers are very attractive and so it seems very beautiful isn't it so see the roses here it's looking very beautiful here kindness of kindly hearts that share your days of gloom gloom in the sense means a feeling of sadness for the morning dew the grass beneath your feet the soft cases of your bed and all the love to sweet so be grateful for the morning dew morning dew the morning manj biluttalva adu bandu elli irutte hullu mele irutte as soon as you keep your uh, feet on the grass you feel some more tenderness isn't it in this stanza the poet continues to say that we need to be thankful for the dew which is on the grass in the morning with when we walk on the um we when we walk on this grass feel some what gentle so do you means i told you manju for the soft crying sound of the babies and their act gentle laughter see for the morning dew the grass beneath your feet so these are the morning dew you can see the white white patches on this leaves there this said to be called as a dew morning dew the soft cases of your babes and all the laughter sweet the chikma kleshit mudumuda nakta irthirala you feel some what happiness what the grateful habit learn to see how bless you are, how much there is to glad in life how little life to mar so here he continues the author continues by saying that learn the habit of being thankful to others and see how bless you are so we should have the feeling of we should have the nature of helping others so you should be blessed with that nature how much is there to live and see in life and how little you are so when when we are going to die we don't know till we live on this earth we should do some good deeds and we should die so here mar means to damage why the grateful habit learn to see how blessed you are so bere one compare mari namatra adilla idilla namga adu beku idu beku annu badlu namatra yenide adanna santosha padana anta helta idare is to glad and life how little life to mar so life or jeevana annodu namge yavaga enagutto helakkagalla so adru baddu irodralle naavu khushi padona what if 
rain shall fall today and you with grief or sad be grateful that you can recall the joys that you have had at the a guest last but not the least the poet concludes by saying that what if your life is raining with sorrows and pain be grateful and recall all the time spent in joy and happiness so manushya and mele yavaglu nagnakta irbek antenilla krishna sukha band hogta irutte yavaga kashta irutte avaga devunna baikondu devunna nenskondu id maadkolu badlu naavu adanna nenskondu adanna as a positive aagi tagondu adanna solve maadu ಅಷ್ಟು ಧೈರ್ಯ ನಾವು ತಗೊಂಡು ಲೈಫ್ ನ ಮುಂದೆ ನಡೆಸಬೇಕು ಇವನ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೀಕಾಲ್ ನಾವು ರೀಕಾಲ್ ದ ಜಾಯ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಪೋಯಂ ಸಮರಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಂ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸಿ ದ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಶಾಲ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಡೂ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೀಫ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಡ್ grateful for everything god has given to you so words meaning here acquired to get especially through effort blessed blessed fortunate having good luck gloom a feeling of sadness grateful feeling or showing thanks mark to damage or ruin something so children here we will go for the rhyming words here in the first line friends see the friends way blue day is there so if you go for the second line last word way and the fourth line last word day way and day are the rhyming words in the first paragraph stanza sorry it's in the second stanza two and you are the rhyming words here in this third stanza trees don't have the same uh, pronunciation word there so you can go for the second word blow and glow with the second and fourth line next paragraph stanza feel and sweet it in your textbook art and mar sad and had in the next stanza so in here in the fifth stanza art and mar sad and had you can go for the grammar section rhyming schemes students i will teach you the rhyming rhyming scheme here so what do you mean by rhyming scheme means the rhyming that is created at the end of the lines of a poetry so you get a poem bandandre adu nimge ondra rhyme rhyming words barbeku so you feel very happy to listen the poem if you don't get any rhyming word means you feel that is not a poem at all okay for example see here mary had a little lamb it flees as a white as snow and everywhere that mary went the lamb was sure to go here in the first line lamb is there you can't find the another uh, same pronunciation of that same word so if you go for the next word you can see the snow and in the third line when again in the fourth line you will see the go there so snow and go so the rhyming scheme is so mary had a little lamb is a, a you have to consider second line you have to consider as a b and third line you don't get the matching word so it's a c again the second line and the fourth line matches so we have to keep make it as a b if the poem does not have a rhyme scheme it is considered to be a free verse poem understood this poem you see i don't like green eggs and ham i don't do not like them sam i am I do not like them in a boat I do not like them with a goat I do not like them in a house I do not like them with a mouse here ham and am so are the same word so we have to mention it as a a boat and goat are same so we have given b b house and mouse so c c the rhyming scheme is a a b b c c Here, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So here in this, we'll uh, examine the topic. Uh, 
So grand scheme is a poet strategy of choosing which lines in poetry will rhyme with each other. So here star or AA, high sky BB and star or again is a CC rhyme scheme. AA, BB, CC. I hope you understood this rhyme scheme. See here roses are red, violets are blue. I am out of, out of my head with thinking of you. Red and head, AA and second line and fourth line matches. So we give the BB. Both of these rhyme schemes are called alternate line rhyme schemes here. So because of you know the rhyme scheme is an alternate lines. Okay. We don't have the rhyming words continuously. Two lines you don't have. We have the rhyme word, rhyming words. Alternate line, alternate lines, we have the rhyming words, so we call it as a alternate line. Alternate line rhyme schemes. Okay. You write this poem, learn to be grateful neatly in your classwork. Okay. So after writing this in your classwork, you do one thing. You just uh, recite the poem and uh, made, one, made one audio clip with neat pronunciation and with clear voice, send it to me in the WhatsApp group. Before recording the poem, you should, make, you should give yourself introduction and no disturbance should be there. The poem should be read very carefully. Got it? Hope you understood this summary of this poem and rhyme scheme. If you want to practice the rhyme scheme, still the two, three paragraphs are there in your textbook. That is in page number 28. You can practice that. Okay. Meet you in the next lesson with a new lesson chapter by name School Breaker. Till then, stay home, stay safe, take care, have a good day. Thank you.